Beethoven's big break, Christmas break, Beethoven's Christmas break. Good news. The dog talks in this one. Yay. What if they made Air Bud talk? <laughs> that would be awesome. He'd be like, yo, I'll put down the hoop jams. <laughs> God. We didn't make him talk. No, we didn't. Hair buddies. You're right. <laughs> but that doesn't count. Wow. That's not, that's not, air, that's not an air bud, though. That's not air. I meant like when he was playing basketball. Or like, he's like, yeah, I'm a jam on your head. Anyway, let's get this over with. So, Beethoven um, doesn't need to be in this movie at all. But they decided they'd make him talk this time. This one He's voiced by Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold of Beating Up Roseanne fame. Greatest actor ever. Yeah. And um, so the movie is about this elf that lives in the North Pole, of course. And he's a stable elf. So that means he makes takes care of the reindeer and the animals. But he wants to be a toy elf. Let me get on the screen here. Toy elf. He wants to be normal like the other normal elves. Yeah, like the other normal elves. And um, so he messes something up and gets somehow to Earth. And he has the magical toy bag, which can have... Santa loses the toy bag. Santa loses the toy bag. And, and he has to go find it. Yeah. And the toy bag doesn't make toys, but it can hold infinite amount of toys. So it has all the toys that they made, that for, were made for, that for year. the year of Christmas. And um, so he has to get it back. And so he's on Earth, and he's really like bumming on himself. Because he's like, oh, I want to be a toy elf. You know, I'm a loser. I'm ruining Christmas for everyone. And um, he runs into this dude from the grassy Eli from the grassy, and uh, <laughs> he's like using Beethoven for who someone his like aunt or something gives him Beethoven to it watch for the matter. weekend. Beethoven's just there. Be they just throw him in there. The now. people from the last movie, I guess, give him the dog to watch for the weekend. No one likes this dog. Yeah, the dog's annoying. Um, so he talks now, though. Even but more at least they gave you a reason why he talked. The, the, um, the elf can hear animals because he's, like, for Christmas. Or he's, like, Christmas, like, spirit <laughs> or something. So he can hear the animals, and there's Beethoven, and they find the stray dog that's like, talks like, Oh, Christmas, Merry Christmas. Like that, kind of. No, he, he talks like a... He's like, oh, he's like a weasel kind of guy who, yeah. who comes from Brooklyn. <laughs> Help me, Beethoven. He's like a scraggly uh, dog. Looks like that dog that gets kicked. What's that? Uh, Benji? He looks like Benji. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they got this Benji dog, and they got Beethoven. They're all talking to Ryzen. They're talking to each other, talking to the elf. Being really annoying. Elf's really annoying. Um, so, Elf's of course, not that bad. I thought he was really annoying. He's like he's like Will Ferrell in Elf. He's like that. He's like... Oh, Christmas! Wee wee wee! I don't know about the world because I only like good things. Okay, I'll give you that. They do use that aspect. But... It's annoying. I hate that. That's why I hate Elf. I hate the movie Elf. <laughs> Anyways, um, I like it. I like um, Zoe Deschanel. She's in that, right? Yeah, but I don't like Will Ferrell in there. I like that movie a lot. Yeah, let's, let's just end this right now. <laughs> Anyways, so. Um, the Eli from the grassy guy, I don't remember his name, but he, he lives with his mom. I guess the dad's dead, right? The dad's dead. The dad's dead, just like the other one, reversed, other movie. Um, always someone dead in one of these movies. So there can be a love interest. Um, but was there? The one? wife was dead in the last one. Yeah. It was the same thing, kind of. So anyways, um, they have to get Christmas spirit back. Well, first of all, the toy bag, they lose the toy bag. When the elf's trying to get it back with Beethoven, and it comes across the hands of uh, this evil uh, toy store owner guy. Yeah, he's like toys. Like he sells you like black market toys that they rip off. Yeah, of like, people. No one can ever find, and like he has like the last ones in stock, and everyone's just like, "Oh, he has the last one, so I gotta pay a hundred dollars for it." Right. My kid really wants it. Yeah. And he's just like, "Yeah, money, money, money." He's like, "Ooh." And then he's toys. his lackey is that one dude. What's his name? Booger, Booger from Revenge, from of, the Revenge of the Nerds. <laughs> He's really ugly and gross looking. He looks like a booger. <laughs> For real. What do I do with booger? I don't know. Um, so they have Curtis Armstrong. But he has right? like a conscience about it. And he's like, I don't know about this. And then the boss always like no. beats him down. Yeah, he says that a bunch of times. He's like, 
I don't think we should be doing this. Yeah, eventually he's brainwashed, though. He's yeah. like, basically brainwashed right. into being his lackey. Yeah, and um, so they have to get the toy. They find the toy bag, so they're, like, getting all the toys for their store for free. But they're stealing all the toys from that are supposed to be given to the kids for Christmas. So the elf dude and the grassy dude have, and Beethoven and the other dog have to find that bag and get it back so they can get back to Christmas. That's it. I mean, really. The mom was alright. I don't think the acting was bad in this movie. I think the acting was okay. But it, Beethoven is really annoying. Tom Arnold as Beethoven was annoying. He's like, hey, buddy. He's like, hey, uh. uh so you like fart jokes? Yeah, tons of fart jokes. <laughs> fart jokes galore in dog movies. Yeah. They just have to be there. I think this movie was almost good enough to get an eh. Almost. Because it was shot well. Looked okay. The ending was really bad and forced in there. You knew what was going to happen. You knew Beethoven was going to fly that sled. <laughs> well, the, the grassy guy convinces the elf that, oh, you know, it's you, you got the most magical... I mean, you could talk to animals. How many people can do that? You're, like, really good. And Accept like, your differences. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, well, that's cool. Accept then, who you are. So they get Christmas back and stuff. Then the dad becomes a snowman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not this movie. <laughs> That's Jack Frost. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. Oop. Oh, God. It's, this movie sucks, but we agree here. Even though it has a Degrassi character that I like in this movie. That Goblin didn't like, though. But I liked him. <laughs> uh, He's one note. So what was it? The mom have a love interest at all? She just, like, wor the mom worked a lot. So her her storyline was that the mom worked a lot and ignored the kids. The kid was like mad, and he's like, "You don't like me." And then the mom gets a raise she or like a promotion, but she's like, "Only if I can hang out. I with can my hang son. out with my son," which happens in like four or five of these different movies, like Hotel for Dogs. And the boss and is obviously understanding, and like, "Oh yes, of course." He's like, "Yeah." I forgot what her job was. She made a float or something for like a parade. It's like Beethoven was on it. This movie sucked, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> for real. But the good news is this is the last Beethoven movie there is currently released that we know of. And the other news good is that I only have a month left. And there's not going to be any more released by the end of the year. So I never had to watch none of these movies again. Unless I probably will, though, as a joke. So, yeah. Beethoven 7, right? Christmas break. Can't call it seven. Right. Can't call it seven. Can't trick the kids with the bop with us that way. Well, it's rebooted, so. Zippity zoppity. Check out my boppity. No, but like. <laughs> I don't think it's a sequel to the last one. Because I think the girl. No. This is like a different Beethoven. Too. Yeah. Since he talks now. Well, he didn't talk. This one guy could understand him. He technically didn't talk. You no, know his mouth moved. It's a different Beethoven movie. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we disagree. This movie's like really good. I recommend it to anybody who likes movies that are terrible. No. Not even that. Yeah. Are you being serious? No, this movie's awful. I hate this movie. Are we going to end this? We had a <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. Hey, do you guys like dog movies? <laughs> See ya.